a cold day here today. Uh, the thermometer said minus 32. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit since then. It's minus 28 now. Uh, but a pretty brisk wind. So we're, uh, we're busy on the farm trying to keep the animals fed and well bedded. Um, terrible cold. You'd wonder how anything could live in this, this kind of weather. Uh, my bees are cozy inside. They, uh, my fan set on minimum right now. And I'll just show you what it's like. Not much air exchange, but kind of like a, it's kind of like a uh, table fan set on high. Uh, so we're continually exchanging air from this building. Uh, it's frosted up, as you can see, all the moisture that's coming out of the shed. Uh, the other one is closed up. My vents are wide open yet. I uh, might restrict them a little bit. The conditions inside the shed seem to be adequate. The bees are very content. So we'll just go take a peek. So inside the shed, the bees are fairly content. I have the fans circulating at low. Uh, so it's just mixing the air nicely. Uh, there's not much for bee drop. So far, I'd say I have about two wheelbarrows full of dead bees. So most of the summer bees have purged out of the nest now. So it's just the winter attrition that uh, is speckling the floor. So uh, the drop has slowed down quite a bit. They don't like the uh, the white light off this camera, so it stirs them up just a little bit. But they're, uh, they're fairly quiet as they just as they just kind of chill out. So far, everything looks the way as it should be. My air intake vents, as you can see them, are frosted right up. And I can from here. I don't have. Um, any plenums or uh, mixing tubes that go down the shed and I should help disperse some of this cold air but from here I can feel a blast of cold air on my face and uh, but this air will come into the shed and then mix through the shed across the shed to the exit uh, vents ceiling fans are mixing the air as it goes across so it seems to be doing an adequate job so I have these ceiling fans set on low so they're just nicely mixing the air in the shed and the reason so I just want to stop the air from layering but what I don't want to do is provide too windy of an environment so it disturbs the clusters and uh, the reason being is these clusters all have um, what do you call it like kind of like an air shield around them uh, that air shield around the cluster is regulating the uh, the moisture and the carbon dioxide within that moist within that cluster and having too windy of an environment will disturb that air shield and they won't be able to regulate that winter cluster that they need and they talk about wintering clusters uh, holding higher co2 levels within and it just helps put them they say it just helps put the cluster into kind of a like a dormancy mode where they are, are very slow and lethargic and just kind of helps them uh, prolong themselves through the extended to the extent of long winters. So by me going through and disturbing these guys it's not helping anything but uh, for the most part they sit in silence and calmness and they can easily regulate their uh, their nest inside and kind of send them through winter in kind of a slow sleep. So that's kind of the way I see it and that's why I have this shed uh, set up with a very minimal air disturbance within especially during these cold cold days. Nice to be able to see what you have as a winter nest after the summer bees purge out and these are the bees are, that will hold the uh, colonies right through till March and then into April these are the winter bees so it's nice to see a good adequate winter nest the humidity is down it's about 20% I'm gonna have to add some water to the air just to boost it up to 40 that's where I like it uh, right now the temperature is holding at 4 degrees and I'm not adding any heat to this building. The shed is pretty well insulated. 
Um, we have R50 over top and uh, R25 uh, in the walls. The underneath I have two inches of rigid board insulation which I think represents uh, about R10. So I'm insulated pretty well all the way around. So they tell me roughly every hive gives off uh, 15 to 20 watts of heat and energy. And if you calculate that over uh, 1500 hives, um, we're looking at 25 to 30,000 watts of heat energy given off my hives inside this shed. So that's what's helping maintain the temperature at four degrees, even with that continual cold air exchange. Like I'm bringing air in right now at minus 28. These hives are giving off enough energy to maintain a temperature inside this shed at four degrees, which is quite amazing if you ask me. But we really have to watch uh, with this cold air exchange uh, the cold air coming into the shed and it's the warm humid air inside here um, it really zaps the humidity levels within the shed as we suck that moisture outside through through our air exchange so if my um, humidity is reading roughly around 20 percent right now i want it up about 40. i'm gonna have to add some water in there just so these guys don't dry out what they tell me, uh, honey holds roughly, like for every pound of honey, we have like uh, a third to half a pound of, of um, moisture within that honey. So these hives have an adequate supply of, of moisture, but I like to just make sure that they have enough humidity in the air to provide just a small amount of condensation around the cluster within the cavity of the hive, just so they can access a little bit of moisture if they need it to help uh, access some of the honey stores they got inside their hives. So there's a little glimpse of uh, my bees inside the winter shed right now. Uh, it's nice and calm and quiet and it's just the way I like it this time of year.